welcome to another video of data pump series and in this video we will discuss about exporting using SQL query condition okay that is also known as selective export fine so when we use this condition since suppose I have a table and it has and it has a uh, one crore data okay one crore rows and uh, i want to take backup of data older than one year or two year that means i need just partial data backup and after that i will delete the rows from my main table why we need to do this because in production environment sometime a table grows too large and uh, due to this this uh, select query becomes slow so in a frequency of yearly or two year or three year we uh, or application and user performs data archival activity so before data archival backup of the same is required okay so in that case you can use this condition okay so okay and the one more thing that I have added another topic that is exporting remote database using database link so this is the new topic I have added in this current course so be with me and keep like share and subscribe this channel okay so let's first check the tables okay user is ksh fine okay so in my case i have three tables but i will take backup of tab one and t underscore synonym okay and uh, i think i have uh, data in both tables and i will just export selective data on sql query condition let us check the actual count okay it is 73,020 and uh, count of another one is 12,179 okay so suppose uh, I select a random condition you can choose whatever you want in your condition so suppose I have made a condition that I will back up the data which is latest than one year okay so there are only 541 rows and in another table i have made a condition the data having row num less than 100 okay so these are just the normal conditions i have made just to show you how it works and in your own environment condition it will be different as per your requirements so one more thing you must note that since you have mentioned this condition in your export so you only export this data not the all data okay so let's go to the xpdp query so here it is xpdp username password as usual you need to mention first these two things now here you need to mention table name that is owner dot table directory name dump file name log file name and here you will use query parameter okay it is the most important part because any code or any single code if you miss then it will not uh, take proper export okay so the first single code then double quote then the condition where created greater than equal to 68 minus 365 then again in reverse order second uh, double quote and then single quote okay so let's execute it is os level command
okay meanwhile you can check dumps are being created or not okay dump has been created okay so my export has been completed so here you will notice that the count is actual count which we have queried here with the condition that is 541 so our export is successful and we have back up the required data now you can delete the data from your main table okay because you have the backup uh, let's perform another backup of another table okay as per the condition the backup should take only 99 rows okay here also the condition mentioned so let's take backup okay so over here our export has been completed and you can see that only 99 rows has been ex has been exported with our selective data export so hope this video uh, helped you to understand what i want to uh, show you in this video so if you have any doubts any queries you can uh, you can ask me in comment section and if you like my approach okay so you can uh, like share and subscribe this video and uh, stay tuned for next topics which will be export using parameter file so thanks for watching